no driver, no observer, no steering wheel. Me your Oh yes, maybe. Today I am gonna show you the relaxed driverless bus here in Guangzhou, China well there's no driver in the bus and there's no observer just like in the previous video that i made where there was someone who was actually observing the bus i am here today to show you a real driverless bus no observer no driver well i think i might be the observer this time around so last time i tried explaining to so many people maybe hundreds of people telling them that the driverless bus was on a test drive at that location well one of the reasons why that bus at that location also has a driver is because it's a crowded location there are so many people there so there's someone who needs to observe the bus in case there's a problem but then i think this area right now where i'm at doesn't have so many people so that is the reason why they can easily have the bus around here so if you want to see the real driverless bus here in Guangzhou China stay tuned and keep watching by the way guys I appreciate if you smash the like and subscribe button to help this video resonate with the algorithm guys, talking about the driverless bus all this area seems to be like everything is autonomous this is a driverless street sweeper as you can see there's no one inside So all this area seems to be full of driverless cars, driverless buses and driverless stuff. Everything seems automated and controlled by AI. So millennials, I've been moving around this area for a while now, trying to find the exact spot where I can locate the driverless bus. And someone directed me to this location. And guys, one thing I always talk about here in China is the cleanliness. That's one thing I love about the streets. Most of the areas, are really clean and there are people who clean these streets almost 24 7 yeah most of the time they are cleaning and that's the reason why if you look around the streets here in china it seems spotless here you can get some snacks and some drinks at a vending machine easy while you wait for the bus so what someone just told me right now is that the bus comes here every 10 minutes so if you miss the bus the very first time, you can hold on for about 10 minutes and the next bus will be here, also driverless of course. No driver, no observer and this is it approaching. Yep. Finally, we can get on the bus. Some people will get off. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hey, Ma. Okay. Oh. All right, guys. So we finally got on, and here we are. Let's see how it goes. Without a driver, without an observer. <laughs> okay, so I just put on my seatbelt and we're good to go.
I just realized that if you do not have on your seat belt, the bus won't move. So it's automatic and I think that's really good. <laughs> No driver, no observer, no steering wheel. Now I'm going to to say hello. Hello. So guys, right now I feel like I am the observer on this bus and I feel like I am the one driving the bus. Just like I told you guys in the previous video, you can see. And I just noticed that there's some really good leg space around here and leg space for everyone. And the bus honks by itself. If there's a driver in front of it acting strange. So it's automatic. <laughs> so guys, as you can see right now, I feel like I am the observer of this bus right here. Well, maybe the driver. In the previous bus, when there was an observer, that was either a test bus and that area is really crowded, which makes the whole difference. I think this area is a more secluded area in the outskirts of Guangzhou and there's not so many people around the road. That's the reason why I think there's no observer and there's no driver. And as you can see, Right here. There's no one observing the bus. And I think it can carry about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe seven or eight persons at a time. And not more than eight persons, of course, because if more than eight persons get on this bus, they might not be able to put on all the seat belts and the bus won't move without a seat belt on. So all the seven or eight seat belts must be on for the bus to move, as you can see. Lihai, xie xie. <laughs> yeah, so I just got on the bus with some really friendly people right there, and it feels good. And they just let me film them, which is pretty friendly, and I'm grateful for that. Guys, so I must tell you, this autonomous bus is really amazing, it's pretty comfortable, it's really smooth, and it's free. Anyone can get on, it doesn't matter if you're a foreigner or a Chinese, and people just get on and get off without scanning a card, without paying any money. So it's really, really accessible and feasible in this location. That's the reason why in the previous video, well, if you want to watch the previous video where there's an observer, you can hold on till the end of this video to be able to watch that video. But then I have to tell you guys, this is definitely the future. I know there's a couple of driverless buses from other countries. There's many driverless buses here in China. And I think they are still trying to perfect the technology. They are still trying to perfect the autonomous bus, the autonomous cars and everything to make it much more visible for everyone so I've had the experience and I have to show you guys don't forget to like and subscribe guys remember this is Willen see you next time bye bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye.